In this video, I'm going to discuss the basics of Boston Terrier grooming, really to help you in your journey of finding the best dog breed for yourself. This isn't an in-depth tutorial. It's just to help you make the decision on whether or not this is the right breed for you. If it is, be sure to stay till the end because I'm going to give you three tips on how you can keep your Boston smelling great between baths. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. In today's video, I just wanna make it basically a blueprint of the grooming needs of a Boston to help you and your family make the best decision whenever it comes to picking a dog breed that's perfect. The way I wanna structure this is first, the daily task that you're gonna to wanna to do to your Boston. The number one thing daily you're gonna to wanna to do is wipe its eyes. Just take a warm washcloth and wipe it so it doesn't develop those tear stains that you might've seen other dogs having, just those dark areas. If you wipe it daily, that'll help reduce that look on your Boston. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do daily is brush their teeth. Emily and I, what we do, we've all used two different toothbrushes. One is just the normal standard toothbrush that's kinda of long, looks like a toothbrush. The other one that goes on your finger, we prefer the one that's longer. It actually works better. Giving your dog a dental bone is not gonna cut it. It doesn't actually clean. It'll get rid of some of the gunk, but taking an actual toothbrush and toothpaste is gonna help do the trick. For the weekly items that you're gonna wanna cover, brushing it, just simply taking a brush, wiping it through its coat, doesn't take very long at all. Number two, cleaning its ears, just wiping it out, making sure there's nothing in it. Now onto the monthly things you're gonna wanna do. This is two things that Emily and I do, and we always do them together. We give Bella a bath and then we're gonna trim her nails. Sometimes it's not every, you know, on the mark month. We've done it more often before and then we've done it less often. It just depends. Monthly is a really good number. You wanna bathe them first. I think it helps soften up Bella's nails. So then after the bath, we just trim her nails. We give her a treat immediately after so she enjoys the whole process. So basically, as long as you do those six things, you can knock all of that out in probably over an entire month take you less than 25 minutes. You're simply brushing your Boston's teeth, you're wiping its eyes out, you know, that little gunk out, just doing that daily, takes little to no time. Then on the weekly things, you're just cleaning out your dog's ears and you're taking a brush, doing a quick brush of their coat. Then on the monthly thing, you're simply giving it a bath and trimming its nails. Boston Terriers are a low maintenance dog breed. You're not gonna have to take it to a groomer to do any of this. You can do it all on your own and it doesn't take a lot of time. So if you are in those beginning steps of wondering if this breed's right for you, I think it's the perfect low maintenance breed if you're not wanting to do those type of grooming things. My three tips for keeping your dog smelling fresh between baths are number one, there's such a thing as doggy wet wipes. Just like you have baby wet wipes, these ones you can use whenever your Boston's going outside. Maybe it's been raining or whatnot, or maybe they just cut the grass, things of that nature. And you can just do a simple wipe down and that helps just keep the dirt and gunk off of them. Number two is you can get dry dog shampoo, just like they have it for humans. I've never used it. My wife owns it. Makes her hair smell fresh and clean. And you can use that for your Boston. And once again, I haven't used this on Bella, but I think it would be a good idea if you happen to have a smellier dog. Tip number three, this is one thing that Emily and I personally do. We have two dog beds. And this just helps because if for some reason we forget or Bella might throw up on it or something, we can throw one in the wash immediately and then she has one ready to go. So there's no missed opportunity for her, you know, 12 naps that she needs a day. So those are my three tips, doggy wipes, dry dog shampoo, and getting two dog beds so you can wash them regularly. My question to you for question of the day, what type of videos would you like to see here on this YouTube channel? Be sure to put it in the comments below. I'll check it out and see what I can put together. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Remember, Boston Terriers are a low maintenance breed when it comes to grooming, it's something that you can do with yourself for almost a little less than 25 minutes over an entire month. I hope this video helps you make the best decision for you and your family. And otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston.